300 days ago, I started trading in the 3X levered ETF TQQQ. After a brief overview of this ETF, I'm going to share some of the tips and tricks I learned along the way, as well as things you want to be careful of. At the end of this video, I'm going to share our profit and loss in this position and tell you how we're successfully trading in this ETF. For the sake of this video, I'm going to refer to TQQQ as T and refer to the triple Q as Q. Briefly, T is one of the largest leveraged ETFs that attempts to track the NASDAQ 100. However, there's one very important difference. T is highly leveraged because it attempts to achieve three times the return of Q. That means that on any given day, when Q is up 1%, T attempts to be up 3%. When Q is down 1%, T it tends to be down 3% that day. There are some nuances that you want to dig into if you decide to trade in this 3X levered ETF. But the thinking is that Q is possibly better for long-term investment, whereas T was built for shorter-term trading. In spite of that, I'm always up for a challenge. And as an option trader, when I hear high volatility, I want to try and figure out a way to trade in that instrument safely and successfully if it's possible. So that was the goal that I set for myself a year ago. There are a couple of important characteristics about T that you need to be familiar with. The biggest one in my opinion is that when Q has a big downturn, T tends to get absolutely crushed. Here you see what I mean. We're looking at the last five years of Q versus T. And looking at this chart, you see one of the advantages of T. When Q goes up, T goes way up. For example, at the beginning of 2022, T was up right at 700% over the past five years, whereas Q was up a little over 100%. However, 2022 has been a very bad year for T because as you can see, it went from being up 700% to only up 100%, which puts it pretty close to Q's percent gain over the past five years. Let's focus on this year because this is actually what I wanted to experience when I started trading in T. You see, I know we can deal with the best case scenario on our trades, but the question is, how's our position hold up during the worst case scenario? Here's the chart of the two ETFs year to date. Up top at the gold color line, that's Q. It's down around 30% this year. At the bottom where the black candlesticks are, that's T. Notice that it's down over 70%. At the beginning of the year, it was trading for around $85 per share and now it's trading for around $22 per share. If say, for example, you owned 1,000 shares of T, at the beginning of this year, your portfolio value went from $85,000 down to now it's worth around $22,000. And this isn't as bad as it could get. Notice here the chart of Q in the Great Recession back in 2007 through 2008. Notice that Q was down about 55%. That's a lot more than the 30% that is down now. What would happen to T if Q dropped another 20%? Well, it'd go down a lot more than it has already. Let's now dig into our profit and loss and the trades we've done in T over the past 300 days, and I'll share what I've learned during that time. Then at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how, in my opinion, this ETF can be traded successfully. First, because of the high volatility, because of the rapid movement, I decided that instead of trading my typical monthly options, I would attempt to trade options every two weeks. My thinking was that we'd be able to get nice premium on those options that were two weeks until expiration. I also wanted to be able to adjust these positions often because I suspected that T would move around a lot on us. Those are both good assumptions and I believe solid trading decisions for this ETF. Today is November 24th of 2022. Notice in the blue box that we began trading T back on January 14th of 2022, so just over 300 days ago. Where you see the white arrow at the far right of the chart, that's the day we first started trading options in T. Notice that it had been in a nice uptrend on this daily chart, but it had recently made a lower low and a lower high. It was approaching the 200 moving average, so I felt like it was probably as good a time as any to begin trading in it. I actually wanted the position to go against us because I wanted to deal with the worst possible scenario to see if our trading strategy would hold up. As you know, we got what we wanted. The market has gone down and T specifically has gone way down. This has given us the opportunity to really test our trading strategy. As you can see here, at first we were doing bullish put credit spreads. However, I wanted to be prepared for the next inevitable crash. So very quickly, I decided that no matter what, I wanted to own twice as many protective put options as short put options or covered calls that we were in. So if we sold two cash secure put options, I wanted to own at least four protective put options at some level. Here you see that from the very beginning, we did that. 
On January 14th, we sold the February 18th $65 put option and we owned two of the $45 and two of the $50 protective put options. You see, I knew that at some point, T was going to experience a big drawdown and I wanted one put option to cap our loss and another put option to go up in value and give us the capital we needed to potentially either buy T outright if it's like a good opportunity or provide us a position that would increase in value to help prepare our position or to give us the cash we needed to buy long-term call options. As you know, T dropped substantially. One thing I learned very quickly was that it was difficult and sometimes bad for us to keep buying twice as many short-term protective put options. So pretty quickly, I decided that as fast as possible, I would use the cash that we generated from selling options to buy leaps protective put options. But I still wanted to accumulate twice as many of those protective put options as short options we were selling, or if they were assigned to us, covered call shares that we were in. As you see here, just above the top blue box, Two months after we started trading this position, we were assigned 200 shares of T at $65 per share. At that point, as you can see in the blue boxes, I began to buy Leaps protective put options. Over the next several months, we accumulated eight Leaps put options against the eventual four covered calls we sold. Here's what our position looks like today. We own 400 shares of T and have sold covered calls against it. We also own eight Leaps protective put options that expire in about 14 months on January 19th of 2024. We own the $15 strike leaps put option. At times, the value of those protected put options have gone way up, especially when T dropped below $17 per share. We're going to continue trading this position. And as such, I want to roll the leaps January of 2024, $15 protected put options out to 2025 to minimize time decay. However, I've been waiting on volatility to drop. When it does, we're going to roll these put options out with the cash we receive from selling options. Now let me show you where we're at with this overall position. As you can see in the bottom right corner in the purple box, if we closed everything out, including selling our Leaps protective put options and bought the covered call options back to close them out and sold the shares that we own, we'd have a loss of $19.19 .19 per share. Now that's a pretty big loss, but let's look at the big picture here. During the time frame that we've been trading in T, the stock has gone from $72 per share down to $22 per share. That's a $49 per share loss. During that same time, we are down $19 per share. As a result of our trading strategy, we have performed over $30 per share better than the stock. If we look at percentages, T is down about 68% and we are down about 27%. So we are two and a half times better as far as percentage loss in our position. Overall, although I don't like losses, I am happy with how our position has held up. I can deal with a 27% loss a whole lot better than I can a 68% loss. I think it was a good idea to own twice the number of protective put options as short puts or covered calls that we sold. We actually rolled those leaps put options one time, we were able to pocket some nice cash when we rolled them down to this current $15 strike price. These leaps put options give us the ammunition if we decide to sell off half the protective put options and either buy long-term calls or buy the stock outright. Now I'm not saying we're going to do that, but it does give us the opportunity to do that. And it also gives us the opportunity to when T crashes and goes way past our protective put options, we cap our loss. We also have something that will go up in value as T continues to crash. So I'm going to continue with our trading strategy. I'm going to roll my least protective put options out once volatility drops. I'm also going to continue rolling the covered calls until they are called away from us. At that point, I'll switch back over to a cash secure put option position. When possible, if the stock moves against us and we're in a cash secure put position, we'll try to roll the strike price down and out for credit. Or if we have to, we'll even do that for break even. To do that, I'm willing to go as far as 30 or 45 days if need be. Now that we're in a covered call, when the stock goes up, if it looks like it may continue to go up, I'll try and roll the covered call strike price up as I roll it out. In fact, as you can see here in the trade alert I sent out to my patrons yesterday, that's exactly what we did. We rolled the covered call strike price up for $21 to $22 and rolled it out two weeks and we're still able to pocket 18 cents per share. During the past 300 days, I've always rolled these positions either for a credit or a break even, but typically we do it for a credit. We'll move the strike prices up and down based on how bullish or bearish T looks. The goal is that as soon as possible, we'll have collected enough premium to pay for this whole position and turn that $19 loss 
into a profit. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do trades, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. We generate hundreds of thousands of dollars every year by selling put options. If you'd like to see how we do that, check out the video series at the link above and the description below entitled Selling Put Options Explained with Real Life Examples. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.